Have you ever looked at a complex 3D design and thought, man, this is impossible to model? Well, it's just a limiting belief. Every Mac or truck is made of smaller and much simpler parts. Build the parts, put them together, and you've got yourself a complex model. Every time you create a simple hard surface shape, you get closer to building that sick Mac you always wanted to add to your portfolio. In this video, we're gonna model a simple organic hard surface shape using SubD and learn a few useful things along the way. Let's go. In this tooth, we're gonna create an organic hard surface shape. We're gonna be using sub D, but we're also gonna be using add ons. So, this is not for beginners. Now, if you're a beginner, you can still follow and probably learn a few things. But uh, I would highly recommend you grab our free course, which is called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender. The link is in the video description, so go ahead and get it. It will teach you everything you need to know for hard surface all the basics, all the foundations, the tools, the menus, how to model, how to render in just a few hours. And it's the best way of learning blender you know the fastest one in my opinion and the easiest one as well over 80,000 people have snatched this course and they absolutely love it so like i said the link is in the video description go ahead and get it now we're gonna start with a circle and uh, we're gonna just use a default circle so 32 verts and we're gonna grab these four verts in here oh, by the way let me just uh, run the screencast key so you know what i'm pressing we're gonna grab these four verts in here and I'm going to extrude them here. Hang on a second, let me just grab four edges. It's gonna be better. Uh, extrude them somewhere here. Now we're gonna use edge flow add-on. I'm gonna go to set flow and set line here. And I'm gonna use Alt R from Deus X machine tools. It's called edge constraint, this tool. I'm gonna to rotate it down here like this, maybe. Make sure it may be like that is fine. And now I'll try to flatten it with machine tools. Move it maybe a bit here and then extrude it here. Alt R again to rotate it, scale it a bit, and then E X and move it in here. Alt X to the side. And now we're gonna have some fun with it. So we're gonna scale it, move it down a bit, and I think that's good. Now, what we need to do, we need to establish the flow of these edges because when we're gonna be bending this shape this way, we wanna have a nice flow here to create a really nice, you know, smooth surfaces. So I'm going to actually bevel this. Um, I'm going to add three edges. I think should be enough. Alt R with our edge constraint and just slide it in here. So like this one, Alt R. And I'm going to kind of transition this curve gradually, right? Uh, to sort of out R and rotate it and GG and slide it in here. You know, kind of direct it this way, right? I'm going to do the same thing here. So select this edge, Alt R. You can see that this add on is extremely useful uh, because when you try to rotate with R, you see that you change the width of this uh, geometry. With Alt R, you slide within the parameters here, which is a bit better. GG, just relax it a bit. Just let's just slide this a bit this way, a bit this way, and I think more or less we good. Okay, so now we're going to snatch the circle here, press F, and then inset it inside like this, and let's just delete it, okay? So now let's save this because uh, Blender crashed on me a few times already today, so I don't know what the fuck is going on. And I'm going to run power save on one minute here, so I'm not going to lose any work. All right, cool, that's awesome. And uh, what we're going to do now, what we need to do, right, is we need to bend the shape and also we're going to be running sub D on it. So what we need, we need actually um, supporting loops all around. But before we do that, let's just actually add some more geometry here and some more geometry here right and some more geometry here and we're going to alt x to the side and make sure that you're gonna keep this middle edge uh, that's important so now more or less this geometry is of the same size so we should be fine we can proceed now what we need is we need an edge kind of like a supporting edge um surrounding you know this uh, geometry right Okay, so here we're gonna press F and actually insert it one more time and then delete it. 
Now, what we need is, like I said, the uh, we need like a, a loop going around all these edges, kind of like an edge flow directed all around here in the middle. What we could do technically, we could actually insert this, right? But when I do that, you see what happens to my geo here in the middle. It gets squashed and these edges get moved. And when I'm going to deform this, this is really going to, um, this could cause problems because I have a really uneven topology here. And also uh, I got, you know, some kind of a weird angles. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to use outset uh, from the Blender add-on called Edit Mesh Tools. So select this edge outside here and let's go to uh, let's go to Mesh Tools and Offset. And we're going to change this with Shift, so hold Shift, make it a bit smaller. And then we're going to change it to Extrude, which will add this loop around a mesh, um, which is really what we want. And same inside, so go to Mesh Tools, Offset, and then Offset Negative, and boom. Right? And that's what we want. So when I'm going to sub D this now, it's going to hold really, really nicely, okay? P3. So now we got this shape. So what we want to do now is we want to create this kind of like an indentation here, like this kind of a drop um, here. So we're going to push it down. So let me see. Hang on a second. Let's just grab these. Uh, maybe it's gonna be better. I'm gonna drop these. Okay, so GZ and drop it down. Right, go to side view. I'm gonna rotate it like this, so it's shallower here and deeper here on this end. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to run loops. Uh, we're gonna run a one loop here and one loop on the other side. Now what we don't want is for this loop to run um, the whole way. Okay, because this will actually mess up our circle. So what we're going to do is we're going to terminate it somewhere here like this into a triangle. That's fine. And I'm going to press three. Now, what we also want is to let me just subdivide it. We want to sharpen it from the other side as well. So we want to sharpen it from this side as well. OK, and we're going to terminate it in the same area right? like this. And this in result is going to give us a quad because I'm going to remove this. OK. And I'm going to grab this point and I'm going to GG, slide it down and we're going to have a diamond here. Okay, this should be peachy. I'll take to the other side. And same here, what we need is an edge here. But again, we want to terminate this edge. So let's do the same thing, GG and press 3. And then we can have another edge here. Like this and again, terminate it. So it doesn't go around. Okay, so GG and three and then we can remove this uh, let me see that combine these two in fact maybe we could go a little bit a little bit further down here and remove these two edges slide it down alt x now we have to fix the middle here see because when you run alt x with mesh machine and you do not uncheck this you could not remove the middle edge which will cause problems here on this curvature and we can actually set flow or try to set flow that will not work okay fine so we're going to manually restore this curvature okay click here and we're going to go to loop tools add-on and click on circle click here and loop tools and circle and here too uh, select all these right click and circle and this is going to be problematic, so this is going to have to be done manually. So G, Y, and sort of restore this curvature there. And restore this curvature here. And we PG, okay? Cool. So now you can see that our subdivision works really nicely. We could also sharpen this one here like this. And the same story here. We could just terminate it. G, G, and 3. You can leave triangles if you want to. That's fine. Uh, this is not going to really cause any problems, at least it shouldn't, okay? Cool. So now we can do, we can solidify it or extrude it. Solidification may be problematic here with this indentation. So let's run a regular extrude down. And we're going to select this edge here, and I'm going to move a cursor to this edge. And I'm going to change pivot to cursor, and we're going to select this bottom part here. So let's select this entire edge here and mark it as seam. And when I'm going to press L, I'm going to select the bottom. Wait a minute. Uh, I'm going to have to make a seam in here as well. And also mark seam here as well. And then press L. Boom. 
save the bottom face and what I want to do is I want to flatten it like this and then I want to also move it up a little bit like that and I'm going to rotate it down so it's going to be flatter uh, here but thicker on this side right awesome now we're going to grab this one here also we need to symmetrize it to the other side I'm going to grab this ring here and we're going to extrude it like this and scale it so change the individual regions and scale it in and uh, we can then run a loop here run a loop inside one more here on the bottom another one here and split it run few loops here so the geo doesn't stretch and then we're gonna run a loop here and uh, you know the the wider it is the the closer it's gonna be now see now here we're gonna have a problem because uh, when we do that it's not really going evenly underneath these edges so what we could do we could do two things okay we could either use another add-on which is called slide edge and you could just slide this edge down here like this from both sides or you could do if you don't have this add-on you could just um, add the loop here and then GG and then press E to align it to the top edge and then drop another loop and then GG and E F to align it to the bottom okay and Bob Jungle and there you go and then we need a loop in the middle right and repeat you now we need to curve it so let's rotate it by 90 degrees apply rotation whoops there we go let's go to hard ups and curve it with hard ups since we have quads everywhere and they're really even you can deform it in whichever way you please and then you see that we're gonna get this nasty distortion here on the circle but it's really easy to fix uh, because we're going to apply not the subdivision but we're going to apply the um we're going to let me just turn it off for a second and apply the band and i'm going to straighten this out so i'm going to remove these uh, these edges here and i'm going to grab this face right and i'm going to alt a here boom and i'm going to grab this edge and gg e and and then f and slide it here remove these okay and we're going to reintroduce new loops in here so they're going to follow uh, kind of this change of curvature from the curved one to the straight one you see that and also oh yes our circle got fucked up so you know what because we bend it let's just remove the words because we bend it our circle got fucked up so we need to fix it so let's go to the front view here and let me see that um here let's go on let's just remove the verts and we're gonna start with this one so hang on a second with this yeah with this one so let's go loop tools and circle and this will straighten up and this one and circle and this should be straight we can actually remove these verts and this one here needs to be a circle too so boom circle actually wait a minute let's extrude it and then alt a and then we're gonna fix it into a circle boom right and this one here we can extrude it this way right and scale it in and this is a circle right correct that's good all right so grab this one scale it in okay and then we're gonna select these two and press f and we're going to grab both faces and we're going to insert them right and then we're going to delete the faces and then let's grab this one and more or less align it here with the other one select both press 2 with machine tools to bridge Control r run a loop here uh, run a loop here run a loop a uh, few of them here and run a loop here in the back select everything and clear seam because we don't need it and run a loop here 
and then control 2 and we get a really nice clean very clean subdivision with these lovely creases in here there's a bit of distortion here on this side but you could play with uh, where you want to end this um, you know this kind of a, like for example here looks a bit better or you could run it up the you know up the edge here so you could just terminate it somewhere a little bit higher where the curvature will actually allow you to do it without any distortions okay so you need to listen to your curvature you see it's maybe a little bit better we could also run something here in the middle to make it a bit more interesting so altium macro we could scale this uh to the middle let me see if i can do that what the hell's going on here we just clean that there's some double edges in here man there you go clean it there we go and uh, we could just you know tighten it up in here like this with additional loops so that's an interesting shape i think all right guys well that's it for this one I, I hope you learned something useful these are very cool techniques for you know running panels on cars uh, or some mechanical you know uh, mechanical design features where stuff needs to be curved and remember that whatever you do always follow the flow of the of the curvature yeah so the apology needs to follow the curvature flow if you're gonna be fighting against the curvature flow or the way your mesh curves and your topology kind of fights against it you will have um, massive you know distortions on your mesh and massive shading errors all right guys well that's it for this one thanks for watching and like i said if you're new to blender you want to learn hand surface modeling in blender in just few hours grab our free course called jumpstart hand surface in blender it will teach you all the basics everything you need to know about hand surface in literally a few hours the link is in the description go ahead and grab it thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one